What is the timing on Dalvin Cook on what's going on with him? Best you can yeah. tell, Jeff. What do you got for me you know, there? First of all, I think it's important. I keep having all these you know, Dolphins fans freaking out in my Twitter timeline about why doesn't Dalvin just sign? We should just move on from him. Like, it's July 10th. Like, GMs aren't even around. Like, they're on vacation. This is not a time of year when players sign. I remember talking to a GM, actually, this past year about a player that he had signed last year, and he had a quarterback who was coming to him constantly to try to press him to sign a wide receiver. And the GM finally had to tell him, let me do my job. If I sign him right now, it's going to cost us $15 million. If we wait three weeks, I can sign him for about six. So, I, I mean, I think that that sort of applies to what we're going through right now with Dalvin Cook. Um, Dalvin wants to see what his market is. The Dolphins, for instance, aren't going to want to, you know, just press to press and sign him just at a time when it doesn't matter. So I think that we should sort of expect maybe, say, Saquon or Josh Jacobs get a deal done before July 17th and sort of reset the running back market. Maybe that happens and helps. Maybe it doesn't. And Dalvin just has to ultimately make the decision himself. So I, I would say just closer to training camp, maybe July 25th. Did you just choose July 17th out of thin air, or is there a deadline going no, on? No, the deadline, the July 17th one is the Saquon, is the deadline for the the guys that are franchise tag mm-hmm. to do to to do a long term deal. So Saquon and Josh Jacobs have until July 17th. So my thought is if they do a long term deal at least Dalvin will have a better understanding. Because right now all these running backs are looking around at each other, whether it's Zeke or Leonard Fournette, um, Dalvin Cook or – Kareem Hunt. You know, He's out there too. Kareem Hunt. Yeah, they're all looking at each other like, what are we worth? Because everybody's telling us we're not worth much. So when do we find out what we're worth? And it's going to take somebody, and right now, July 17th being maybe the next marker – to do a deal to give anybody any sense of what these running backs are currently valued at. Fair to say it's more likely Saquon does that before July 17th yeah. than Josh Jacobs? Yeah, the Josh Jacobs one feels a little sideways right now. I don't sense, I mean, I haven't really sensed that that was ever going to even happen since Josh McDaniels became the head coach, you know? So I would say Saquon, to me, seems like the guy Joe Shane wants in there. Um, they seem to be getting to a place where at least there's a good offer on the table. So, you know, we'll see what happens with Saquon, but I would say, yeah, that, that's the most likely. You, well, let's, let, let's just linger on Josh Jacobs a little bit, Jeff Darlington, because when you said that, you know, since McDaniels got there, things felt a little bit weird. And I, if I'm not mistaken, the preseason last year, you don't read too much in a preseason, but last year when the preseason hit and Jacobs wasn't really – um, significantly used, the sense was it wasn't because they were saving him up like everybody does with their right. star running back. It was that they just didn't think much of him. And the reason why we thought that maybe is because they didn't pick up a fifth-year option earlier in the spring, and then Josh Jacobs becomes the leading rusher of the National yep. Football League. And the prove-it deal, he's saying, I proved it, and the prove-it deal hasn't hit the table. Is that a fair reading of everything that yeah. of, of, of that? Uh, that's that's exactly my assessment of it. I, and so that's where I'm saying, like, at least with Saquon, when things have kind of felt a little weird, it's because any negotiation can get a little funky. With Josh Jacobs, you've got all these, you know, chips on his shoulder now. He wasn't, like you said, he didn't have the option picked up. Then he goes and has a career here. So to me, I think that they've got a bigger, bigger, you know, gap to kind of to fix here um, before July 17th. You know, and, and again, maybe, you know, if Saquon gets his deal done in the day before, two days before, which is when these generally get done, mm-hmm. um, then maybe maybe the Raiders and Josh Jacobs do a very similar deal. Uh, you know, that, that could happen. But last year there were four players at this deadline that also were trying to get their deal done, and none of them did. So um, while we like to have hope this time of year that someone will get a long-term deal done, uh, it's it's not an absolute well, I mean, and then while we're while we're lingering in the is this a fair assessment world, Jeff, um, the McDaniel's tree we all know hails from the Belichick tree, and they they don't pay running backs that. I mean, run, yeah. they they have running backs by committee. Yeah. I mean, and then they oh, they'll, they'll find the next you know Lawrence Maroney and the next Ramondre Stevenson and get a year or two out of them. And uh, that's you know that's why I'm I'm. 
kind of holding my breath to see if Dalvin Cook doesn't re- – I mean, uh, you hear Cook to the Patriots maybe, but um, – and we'll talk about DeAndre Hopkins in a second. I, I, I just don't know how the Jacobs thing works out. And then does, does he hold yeah. out if he doesn't get this deal? Like that's the ultimate – question is who actually pushes the pedal to the metal with whatever they have in their toolbox jeff yeah same with saquon too right like july 15th if either of these guys get their deal done where are we headed because josh jacobs i think has said himself like this isn't just about my deal it's about future running backs like we're doing this for you know the position so if that's true and all of a sudden this becomes one of these principal things which can go away pretty quick Mm -hmm. um are we suddenly talking about a Le'Veon bell situation which obviously did not work out well. I think we all agree on that. So that's, I mean, July 18th, if they don't get their deals done, Saquon and Josh, which one of those guys is going to sit there and say, I'm not playing. I tend to think they'll play. I just don't think from a business perspective, it's prudent, but, uh, but you know, principle can be a powerful thing sometimes. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to three Eastern for free.